All right, we're gonna set up this associated carbon pile tester and we're gonna do a load test on our alternator. So we have our battery leads connected to the battery here. And we're gonna take our amp clamp, make sure it's zeroed. And we need to go off this output cable coming from the battery. So on this particular car, pretty easy to get to. So we're gonna put that clamp around there. We can take a look at our tester. We have our voltage reading. There's no amps coming out of the alternator. I'm gonna go fire up the engine. So with the running, until our voltage came up, we did have in the negative voltage, uh, negative amperage. All I did was take that amp clamp off and I flipped it around. So we have 65 amps coming out of that alternator right now. So <clears throat> if you need to check to see what the maximum output uh, of the alternator is, you can apply a load as indicated by the red light. Start to pull our voltage down. So you can tell our alternator here, we're putting out 115, 117 amps. So good, healthy alternator, able to put out plenty of current. So anytime that voltage drops below, it's gonna increase the charge rate and bring that amperage up. So that's what you wanna see. You wanna compare that maximum amperage rating to what is listed in the service manual for this particular car. But good thing here, the other thing to keep an eye on is this diode, defective diode lamp. If you have a diode that's starting to break down inside the alternator, that lamp will light up when you're putting a, a load on. Look at there. It's not so sure. So that guy comes on. Good indication that one of the diode packs is also faulty in this. So, but at the moment, looks like a good, healthy alternator. So easy, quick test to load test that alternator. To disconnect, all we're gonna do is take the amp clamp off big thing here make sure you switch it off then all we got to do is disconnect from the battery pick up after ourselves <laughs> 